Not only the devil is in the detail, there you also find real audio refinement. Low level information holds details that provide clues to the character of the instruments, the dimensions of the concert location, the place of the instruments within that location and so on. With personal hygiene you fight small things like bacteria, with audio hygiene you fight to keep the small things for they are the details. There are many ways to destroy detail information and only when you maintain good hygiene throughout your system you will get all information out for as far as your equipment is capable of. I didn't pick the term hygiene for nothing for it resembles personal hygiene to a large extent. Although as with any metaphor this one will get crippled somewhere but that's not the point. We humans have learned how to prevent diseases and infections by for instance washing and changing clothes regularly and so on. With audio a comparable set of rules exists. With personal hygiene you not only change clothes regularly, you also take a shower and wash your hands after visiting the most private room in the house and so on. Doing all these things but forgetting to wash your hands does increase the health risk significantly. It is the same with audio. Everything is aimed at keeping foreign information away while maintaining the low level information and keeping the distortion as low as possible to keep it from masking low level detail. If you have audio hygiene problems at say 6 places in your set, solving only one will almost never lead to clearly audible improvements of the sound quality. This is why there are people that hear no difference between cables, the effect of a good power cable and so on. So clear results of my audio hygiene program will only show when there is no single big hygiene rule overlooked. It could be that doing only one of the measures brings big improvements but it also can be rather minor. Don't give up and follow the program. If you need to invest to do the task, you might want to wait until most videos are published so you can do it all in one and try to borrow missing equipment or cables. Another approach is to buy gear and cables under the condition you can return the goods when they don't do what you expected. This series is built on 40 years of experience by me and my audiophile friends and colleagues. All the proposed actions and measures might also improve your stereo. Some of those might depend on local conditions like the differences in how the grid was set up. When I am aware of that I will certainly mention it. If you don't have results from this series, please feel free to communicate this with me and other viewers. You can also let me and my viewers know that you disagree if you do it in a polite way. Although I will not respond to it since it will only lead to endless discussions with no conclusive end. I'm sorry I have to mention this but now that my channel is getting rather popular and I already am unable to answer all questions, I have to choose those I can contribute to positively. Again, please do disagree, I live in a free country and I hope wholeheartedly you do too. So let's be proud of our freedom of speech and cherish it. I already published part 1, power cables, but realized that it needed this prequel to introduce you to audio hygiene and the concept of doing it all right to get benefits. I know there will be subjects that seem too odd to be true. I promise you there will be no April Fools in this series. Everything is tried and tested, not only by me but by many audiophiles. Results will vary greatly depending on your stereo, your ears and how accurate you have performed the audio hygiene steps. Part 2, Power Plug Polarity is due soon, so subscribe to this channel or follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. You can also post questions but please don't ask me for buying advice. View my About Questions video to find out why. You find more information below this video. 
If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.